Hey y'all, Tom, ND3N here, and thanks for dropping in on my shack for a short. He's very sensitive, so uh, no short jokes, okay? Ham Shack chat about the Log for OM contest mode. I will be reiterating this several times throughout the video, but the Log for OM contest mode is not a replacement for a full out contest software. It is, however, a very useful tool if you're a casual guy just looking to make some contacts during a contest. Target of opportunity, we'll call it. As always, any questions, observations, suggestions, or just general remarks can be left down in the comments. Talk to me, buddy. Talk to me. When doing a contest, the first thing you want to do is first things first is pick your contest. And I recommend using the WA7 BNM contest calendar. And you can see I've got a nice contest happening right here. We're going to start this evening. It's the CQ Worldwide WPX contest. I will be doing that contest. If you click on the contest name, it'll take you down to a description of the contest, which tells you which bands it can be used, different classes of operations, uh, your max operating hours, your different power levels, what the exchange is, and in this case it's an RST, which is always 599, and a serial number, how often you can work a station, which is once per band, how many points you get per station, and so on. Great! A lot of info there, thank you. Down here toward the bottom, you'll see two links. This first one is where you can upload your log once you're all done. The second one is where you can find the full rules to the contest. And I do recommend that you go look at those rules. Now on Log4OM, I've already got my rig set up for CW and got my filter set and all of that. I am using my TS-890, which is my contest rig. Although you can do a full contest with Log4OM, it is not a fully featured contest logger. It provides a useful interface for the casual contester. So I've set this up as if I was a Sunday afternoon contester, just out to take advantage of the contest and maybe go ahead and submit a log. Not more than just a few good contacts. And that's what this video will focus on. Once you've picked your contest, you want to come up here to contest and go to contest settings. This is going to bring up a list of different contests. As I'm setting up for the CQ Worldwide WPX Contest CW, that's what I'm going to select. And that will populate there. Now you need to set your start and end dates and you can find those on the WA7 BNM. I have set this for the wrong date purposefully so that it'll bring up the rest of it earlier. If you don't set these dates right, your contesting will not become active until such time as you hit the start date and it'll become inactive when you hit the end date. It does use UTC time. You have a couple different options down here. First off, if you're doing something like field day, which has a set exchange, you can enter that here. I'm not using a fixed stream. You can put your prefix in here. You can put a suffix in here. But what you want to do is say, since I have to send a sequential serial number, you set where you want your sequential serial number to start with, which will usually be one. There can only be one. <laughs> and once you get all this information in there, click the floppy disk to save it. There's two ways to actually get into the contest mode. First off, you come up here and go into contest mode, or you can click this crown icon. Click on recent QSOs or F7, and I'm going to enter my wife's call sign in here. That's K3TAM. You'll see over here it tells me this is a new one. So up here, I'm going to click on Contests Received. And my wife's been a little busy. So let's say she's, I'm her 22nd contact. And at this point, I can press Enter and it'll populate down here. Now I'm going to enter one of my old call signs and we'll go AA6MZ and my contest received as would normal be for me, I'll go 250 and click enter. You can see that pop up. Now, let me show you what happens when you hit a dupe. I'm gonna put my wife's call sign in here again. 
you get a big notice here. At this point, you can go ahead and work your dupes. A lot of people advise that, especially if you're calling CQ and somebody comes back. It's easier just to accept the dupe and go. Accept it. It doesn't cost you anything. And I'll hit my enter. And you'll see I have her here there again. So that's how you build your log. If you're doing a CW contest, you can bring up your Morse code. You mean Morse code. So I'm going to click on CW here, and that's going to bring up my Morse code page. This is still in contest mode. Now if I come here to macro, you can see I've got my standard macros. And I can put my, con my contest macros in here. And I've discussed this how to do this in a previous video. And that completes my log so far. A log for the casual contester. Again, I will reiterate that this contest mode is not a replacement for a software package that is actually designed for contesting. You can embed the N1MM software for use with Log4OM, but as I use a completely different software package, WriteLog, and I only have tertiary experience uh, with N1MM, I can't speak to it with any credibility. I see nothing! I know nothing! You can review the steps for integrating N1MM into Log4OM in the user's manual, which is available at the same place that you downloaded Log4OM. And I'll be sure to put a link in the video description. If you've enjoyed this or learned anything from it, please take a moment and pop that thumbs up icon and give me a like. Do you? like me? Also, please help spread the word about this and my other videos by sharing Tell everyone with your friends and cohorts in the amateur radio community and especially on social media. 73 until the next Hey Y'all. As always, I'm at your service. This has been a Hamshack Chat. I'm Tom, ND3N, and I am out. I'm um, Pretty tired. I think I'll go home now.